Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for NDR's Advisory Best Practices webinar. I'm Amy Lubis, NDR's Vice President of Investment Solutions. I've been with the company for nearly 20 years. Over the past decade, I've helped to develop NDR's products for advisors. Today, I'll be providing a product demonstration of our advisory product, illustrating how advisors can incorporate our independent research, tools, and models into their investment process. Tomorrow, we will be hosting our 2024 Outlook webinar, so I encourage you to register if you haven't done so already. Before we get started, I'd like to go over a few housekeeping items so you know how to participate in today's call. You're likely listening in using your computer speaker system by default, but if you would prefer to join over the phone, just select telephone in the audio pane and the dial-in information will be displayed. Your microphones are muted. However, you'll have the opportunity to submit written questions by typing your questions into the question box on the control panel. I encourage you to do so at any time during the presentation and I'll address them after my prepared remarks. At this point, you should have received a welcome email from us with your NDR.com login and password. You should also be receiving some direct emails from us. On a daily basis, we have the advisory daily bullet points, which is a portal into the publications that have been produced in the past 24 hours and provide great talking points for your client conversations. On a weekly basis, on Mondays, we have a report of the key asset allocation models at NDR. And on Fridays, the advisory weekly summary provides a review of the publications published during the week. And finally, on a monthly basis, we have the Market Digest publication, which provides a summary of our investment strategy and outlook, a link to our client communication chart library, and a separate link to our model portfolios report. Let's get started on the platform demo. Once you have logged onto NDR.com, you'll land on what you see here as the advisory homepage. At the top of the page, we summarize our strategist asset allocation views and recommendations with the recommendation dashboard. The model and latest commentary is linked in the far right columns. Advisors can use these as inputs to their asset allocation decisions. Below this, there are two important boxes on the left side of the page. The first box houses our publications, which are our strategist insights. These are shown in chronological order. If you mouse over a title, <clears throat> excuse me, it will give the summary of the publication. When you double click on the title, the publication will open in PDF format. Publications shown here include ones written daily, weekly, and monthly by the NDR strategy team. The second box below houses charts and tables, which provides the supporting evidence behind our strategist insights. It includes models, individual indicators, as well as summary reports. We often get the question, what are other clients looking at? So we decided to show this on our website in order of client interest. You can see at the top there, our daily trading sentiment composite is the most popular chart at NDR. On the far right column, the top, you'll see news and announcements. Information here will provide upcoming webinars like tomorrow's 2024 Outlook, as well as speaking engagements by our strategy team. Below that houses key links. On the home page, this houses popular tools like the stock and ETF screener, client communication materials, access to information about our model portfolios, and some helpful how-to videos. The next box down showcases our flagship publication, the Market Digest, which provides a summary of our investment strategy and outlook. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a section called Client Presentations and Event Replays. This is an area that houses strategist presentations as well as past conference calls that could provide helpful talking points for conversations with your clients. Now let's navigate to the research pages. There are two ways I say that clients can access research. One is vertically by doing a deep dive into a specific area and that is housed under the strategy tab. The second approach is horizontally. And so that is um, coming into our topics page where all of the information about a particular topic is organized 
on that page. So let's review a couple of examples. We can start with a vertical deep dive into the US stock market by clicking on the strategy tab and under the market strategy column, clicking on US. This page houses our US asset allocation and related models, charts, reports, and publications and is managed by our chief US market strategist, Ed Clissold. At the top of the page, Ed provides his current investment strategy. In the middle of the page, you see the publications. You'll find insights about the US stock market. These include Ed's weekly US equities focus publication, his quarterly benchmark review, and the monthly market digest. Below that houses charts and tables, which provides models, key indicators, and summary reports that Ed reviews to develop his insights on US asset allocation. An important area on each research page is the key links in the far right column. I would suggest focusing in on these links as they house key models, charts, reports, or tools that our strategists find most useful. If you're interested in looking at research horizontally, we can navigate over to the topics page. For instance, perhaps you're getting a lot of client questions on inflation. You can choose the inflation topic under the economic column. Here you will find publications tagged to this topic, as well as top charts and reports. We would like to conclude with where you can find investment ideas. Many advisors, of course, use ETFs and stocks in their client portfolios. So we'll briefly review each of the implementation pages. Let's turn to the ETF selection first by clicking on this name under the strategy tab under the implementation column. This page houses all of our ETF research and tools. The pie chart at the top of the page is our popular ETF asset allocation model a high conviction, unconstrained global tactical asset allocation model. Clicking on the pie will open up the model's report, which shows the current weightings of our top level allocation and sub allocations. This model has very high turnover, so we recommend using it as an input into your investment process. On the right side of the page, the key links on our implementation pages really feature popular tools as well as catalogs that organize a lot of the charts and research for that area. The first one, the ETF report and chart catalog organizes charts, reports, everything from sentiment to technical indicators, as well as tools like the ETF screener, correlator, and ETF portfolio builder. The final tab of the report also provides some helpful videos so we encourage you to take a look at them at a later time. The ETF screener provides the ability to screen on over 200 factors for a universe of over 3,000 ETFs. There are sample screens which are accessible by clicking on the star icon at the top of the screener. We also have a few ETF publications that provide some investment ideas. Those are listed here under the publications section of the web page. Let's turn now to the stock selection work by clicking on Stock Selection US under the implementation column. There are only about a dozen or so pieces of content in the advisory offering. If you're interested in accessing all of what we have available for stock selection, please reach out to your sales representative. I'll highlight two key areas here. First, the stock screener houses over 200 quantitative factors that can be filtered on a variety of universes, benchmarks, as well as your own custom ticker list. The NDR stock universe comprises over 5,000 stocks. There are also saved screens here under the star icon, and some of them include a growth stock focus list, and a large cap multi-factor focus list. Second, we produce a US portfolio strategy. 
publication. And this is putting together our quantitative research and incorporating a um, large cap multi-factor portfolio of about 40 names. And we feature that in a publication on a monthly basis. So that is the um, full content of the advisory offering. In addition to this content, you should also be set up with some new content that we re recently released for NDR Wealth, some of which can be accessed under the homepage key links, but is also separated out as wealth under the strategy tab in the focus column. The product includes summary investment insights, client communication materials, and access to information about NDR's model portfolios. If you don't have access and you're interested in learning more, please feel free to reach out to your sales representative and we can get you access. So that concludes my prepared remarks. We can now begin the question and answer session. And as a reminder, if you have any questions about the product offering, um, please type them into the questions box in the far right panel of the GoToWebinar. Um, I have, first, I have a question. Uh, can I manage the emails I receive from NDR? As I noted in the presentation, um, we do put out some direct emails to kind of push some of the publication content as well as some of the very popular reports. Um, so yes, you can actually manage those um, by clicking on your name in the upper right-hand corner and choose Email Publications. And this opens a window where you can turn on or turn off specific publications and then save your preferences. And that will then change your um, push preferences going forward. Another question, um, how can I set up some easy links to content that I prefer, things that I keep coming back to? Um, great question. So in, anywhere on our website, um, if you click on a piece of content and you like to come back to that on a very easy basis. Um, so for instance, if I click on this first link in the key links on the homepage, you'll see in the upper right-hand corner, there actually is the ability to favorite this. So if I press the word favorite, that is now added to my favorites page, which is the little vertical flag, I call it, to the left of your name in the upper right-hand corner. So if you click on this, everything that you have favorited, whether it's a chart, a report, a publication, a tool, a web page, are accessible um, in one click. Just have uh, one final question. Um, what types of model portfolios do you have? Uh, let me go back to that report. So you can see by the names on the left-hand side here, we have a variety of what we call off-the-shelf uh, portfolios. There's about a dozen or so. They include everything from global tactical asset allocation to equity sector allocation, fixed income sector allocation, and a non-US equity allocation that utilizes ETFs to implement. We also have three stock portfolios. So I mentioned in the stock screener, we have some focus list. We also have a lower turnover model portfolio for each of those strategies, and those are listed in this report as well. And you can see in the middle um, of this report information about the strategies, the overview, as well as the latest performance and the latest trade rationale under the commentary. It's listed right there for you. So that concludes um, my prepared remarks for the presentation. I very much uh, thank you for joining us today to learn more about our advisory offering. As a reminder, please join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. for our 2024 Outlook webinar. The registration is available here on NDR.com and uh, also will be in the daily bullet points. Have a great rest of your day.